Welcome everybody, this is Jason and the name of this week's workshop is Accessorize Your Life. This is a start to finish accessory building workshop and this week in part one we're going to look at how to build the mesh. So let's jump right in. One of the most frequent questions I hear is how is making accessories similar to making clothes or other body shop projects? Similar to clothes and hair, accessories are assigned to joints and then exported as a 5GD. So in Milkshape, the joint assignment is fairly similar. And as with other body shop content, accessories are divided into the mesh and texture files. So you have a mesh, you have a recolor. It's not all an all-in-one package file as you have with a regular object. How is making accessories different from making clothes and other body shop projects? The XML text editable resource for accessories is the XML. It's a little bit different from the GZPS. With a GZPS, you can have one GZPS for multiple age groups or both genders. But for the XML, when you create an accessory, you have one XML for each combination of life stage and gender. So you have one for adult female, you have one for young adult female, you have one for elder female. This workshop will be split up into six parts. We're starting in body shop, then we will be building a mesh in milk shape. We assemble the mesh in SimPE, and then next week we will be looking at custom CAS thumbnails, binning the outfit with Outfit Organizer, and testing and troubleshooting in-game. So for this one, to get started, we grab an accessory. We're going to basically clone an accessory in Body Shop. Ancient Wisdom says, well, you should grab one of the Maxis accessories. This isn't always the case. Sometimes you want an accessory that has both lens and frame enabled, like texture enabled or alpha editable. So grab the accessory with the correct DXMT for you. Don't always follow what the tutorials say. Then we give the project a new name. We import the project back into the game without making any edits, and then we close Body Shop. Then the milkshape part. Now we would need a skeleton and I will go in the SimPE part, I will explain how to extract a skeleton. But for now, what we need to do is open Milkshape and then as with anything else that has an animation, we will grab the 5GD with the appropriate life stage and gender for what we're animating. So we import Sims 2 Unimesh import version 4.09. And I did include the links for that in the workshop post. Once we have imported the 5GD, we delete any existing groups in the groups tab. Ancient wisdom is that you select the lens and then snap the vertices together, but that still leaves you with about 250 polys. What I will do in this case is delete both groups and then for the lens group, because there's no texture, I will import a teeny tiny cube and that only has 12 polys. So we import the accessory object and the body template that we're working with. I've included a body template for adult female in the workshop post. So what we would do is import wavefront object at, for both the accessory and the template. Then in the groups tab, we grab the accessory and we just move, rotate, and slide the object until it's in about the right position. We move to the joints tab. We double click on the head joint. Then, and it should be highlighted in green just to indicate that that's the selected joint. We move back to the groups tab. We select the the group that we're going to be assigning to the joint. In this case, it's already named frame because I'm building this from another accessory. We hold down shift, we hop over to the groups tab, we select frame because if we just select it without holding down shift, then it would deselect the head joint. So we have both selected. We hop 
back over to the joints tab and we click on that assign button that's going to assign the bucket to the head joint then we can delete the mesh templates we're all done with those as a final step we would import the pit mesh that's a little tiny cube that I mentioned and assign it to spine 2 just as we assign the bucket to the head joint we need to rename the groups frame and lens and in the notes we need to we need to put what the actual the model name opacity and the number of skin weights we just copy the comments into the comments block for both frame and lens i've included some quick copy notes in the workshop post to make it easy then we we'll go file export sims to unit mesh exporter and we export the mesh as a 5gd finally it's time to put the mesh together so we open simpe to get started we we'll go file new then we select that new resource in the resource tree and the resource list and we go pgse body mesh tool extracting stage then remember the accessories that we created in body shop we click the browse button then we we find we go to our saved sims folder we find those accessories and we open them then you're going to get a set of pop-ups just click just click through click yes and okay because it's an accessory for multiple ages and genders it's going to import the GMDC, the GMND, the crest, and the shape for all of those age groups and genders, but we really only need one. So we double click on the name header to sort the, uh, the resources alphabetically. Starting from AM, so we're going to leave everything that's AF. We select from AM, we grab that top resource, and then we hold down shift and we select the bottom resource. So we just shift select everything and then we right click and we delete those resources we go select object tools fix integrity we get the scene graph wizard pop-up we give our object or our accessory a unique scene graph name we we'll click update and then we click ok at that point, we're going to save the accessory, give it a unique name. Best practice is to begin with mesh underscore so that you know that that's the mesh file. Then we select the GMDC in the resource tree and then in the resource list, we right click on that resource and we replace. We go to where we, ex where we exported the 5GD and we replace it. As a final step, we just preview that. We click the preview button in the GMDC and we can see that, that that's what the accessory looks like. And then in the joint hierarchy, if you double click on the head joint, you can see that the bucket is assigned to the head. <music>
and we we import it back into the game and that's it we just need those two we can now quit body shop let's go to simpe we go file new grab that new resource then we go tools pjsc body mesh tool extracting stage so I'm doing this a little bit differently from the workshop, but that's fine. We select package. So we want to click on that browse button. Go to my save sims folder for my current loadout. And let's go with bucket head. So it says multiple meshes found. Import resources for all of them. Just click yes. So here we've got two, we've got AF and AM. Okay, this is super easy. We select all of the AM resources and we just delete them like that. Then we go tools, object tools, fix integrity, Give it a new a new scene graph name. Update. And we click OK. File. Save as. And where do I want to put that? I'll give that a different name just so that we know this is the one for the workshop. Okay, so we have one mesh with four resources for adult female. And we can see this is what Maxis gives us to work with. That's fine. To get the animation skeleton, what we're going to do, we'll select GMDC, we'll right click in the resource list and we select extract in the drop down. Then I'm going to call that bucket head one. Okay, now we have an animation skeleton. We can build accessories. We go to milk shape, a file, import, Sims 2 Unimesh import version 4.09. We go to the one that we exported, the one that says Buckethead 1. Yeah, let me zoom in there. So we've got frame and we've got a lens. Let's go ahead and delete those. Now we import. bucket just like that and then I'm going to import one of my models I'm going to import a template for adult female I've included in the workshop post but I have mine saved in a different place so let's grab the frame And I'm going to start out just by rotating it like so. So I don't like that. Let's get the handle so that it's square. We'll rotate it this way first. Then we rotate it this way. Then we go to move. We just move it around. Just want it so that it's slightly resting on her shoulders. Don't want it completely. 
I don't want it to completely clip into her shoulders. Down a little bit. Okay, and you see how you've got that weird shading there? I didn't mention it in the presentation, but there are two ways to fix that. What I like to do with the entire group selected, just go vertex, cat's normal smoother. And if you look in the 3D viewport, it smoothed it out nicely. Okay, I think that's about as good as it gets. So we hop over to the joints tab. We select head. Then we hop back over to groups. We select the frame. We, we hold down shift and then we select a frame. Hop over to joints and we assign. Just like that. We don't need the body template anymore. So right now we've got frame, but we also need lens. So a file, import, wavefront. So we just grab pip, go edit, select none, And then in the groups tab, we select it. It's named figure. Don't worry about it. All right, no, 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 I'm sorry. We need to double click on spine two first. So double click on spine two, we hold down shift, we go over to groups and we select figure. Then we hop back over to joints, we assign. Then, we need to do some renaming. So we open up quick copy notes for accessories. We hop over to the groups tab. We grab frame. We copy the comments for frame. Then we click the comment button and we just paste those like that. The second one, figure, this needs to be renamed lens. So in the text box, we just go lens, rename, then we hop back over here, copy lens, we paste that in the lens comments. Now we can save this as a Milkshape 3D file. So we go File, Save As, Bucket 2. Last step, we go File, Export, Unimesh Exporter. And I'm going to call this bucket head too, just to differentiate it from the other one. So we export the 5GD back in SimPE. We select the GMDC here. We select it in the resource list. We right click and we select replace in the drop down. And I just select the one that I most recently exported, Buckethead 2. Now let's preview. Okay. It looks as it should. We'll go all the way down to the head joint and we can see that this mesh is assigned to the head. So that's what we need. We can now save it. Let's do it all again. Let's make the plunger mesh. So we go new, select the resource, tools, PJSE, body mesh tool, extracting stage. Now we click browse and we go to our saved sims folder. And I'm just gonna grab plunger. It doesn't matter that the same accessory at this point. So just grab either one. We click yes on the pop-ups and it imports for both AM and AF. We don't need AM. So we just shift, we grab the first one, hold down shift, Grab the bottom one, 
So we have those four selected. We right click, delete. Then we go to tools, object tools, fix integrity. And we give our scene graph a new name. Update. And we we save our file. So we just go save as. And I'm going to call that one plunger. And because we already have the skeleton, I'm not going to repeat that part. We actually don't need to delete the pip. So let's just delete frame and leave lens. Now, let's once again import our body template. Blender templates. Sorry, body shapes. We select that adult female template once again and select none. Okay, and now because I'm super mature, I have a plunger mesh. So we go import, wavefront object. And I grab the one that says plunger. So we just select that one group. And once again, we're going to rotate, scale, move, whatever we need to do to get it in the right position. Actually, what I want to do here, I'm going to rotate 90 degrees on X axis. Actually, it should be 270. And then let's move. We move that so it's roughly in her right hand. And then I like to zoom in on the top down viewport. And now we can see how it's, it's at a 90 degree angle, but it needs to be rotated in just a little bit. So, I grab rotate and I just rotate in this viewport only. That's the right angle, but we need to move it now. We just need to scoot it back where it was. And so if we look from in the 3D viewport, if we look from the bottom up, yeah, it looks like it's in the right position in her hand. Maybe just a little bit more in. Then, to fix the shading issues, once again, I go vertex, cat's normal smoother. Then, hop over to the joints tab, and this time we're looking for right hand. So, double click on right hand, and it just highlights that joint. Then we go to groups, we got plunger. Sorry, we hold down shift and then we select plunger in the groups tab. Hop back over to joints, assign. How do we know it's assigned? We can check in this checkbox here. So when we select right hand, the entire mesh lights up. We know it's assigned to right hand. Okay, now we can delete the body we don't need the body template anymore. I'm going to move this one up so that frame is now on top. We rename this frame. And then we go to our quick copy notes and we copy the comments for frame. Comment, we paste here. Click OK, and I'm ready to save my mesh.
So we have the mesh saved. We go File, Export, Unimesh Exporter. And I'm going to call that Plunger Right Hand 2. Then we hop back over to the mesh file, select the GMDC, once again in the resource list, and we right click and replace in the drop down. We got Plunger 2, or Plunger Right Hand 2, and we click Preview. And then let's double check on the joint hierarchy. So right hand, it's a little bit hard to see because of the colors, but you double click on that and yes, it is assigned to the correct joint. We save. And that's how you build an accessory mesh.